So guys, a little disclaimer before we start. I used Premiere Pro for all of my life and I started using DaVinci Resolve in 2012, 2013. And back in the days, this program wasn't the program you are knowing right now. It was totally different, a round trip from Premiere to DaVinci Resolve to Color Grade were really choppy. And I used to, you know, color grade and do stuff in the Premiere Pro 99% of the time. So let me share with you why you should switch to DaVinci Resolve completely for color grading, editing, and even VFX if you want to uh, work with Fusion. I'm not, but you can. And also with audio with Fairlight. But by the way, let's start from the basics. File management. So if you want to manage your files, your folders, your stuff when you launch Premiere Pro, what you want to do is just navigate through your folders as you usually do on your Mac, on your PC, in a really, you know, technical way. And you want to import everything, you can watch everything from there, you got different views, and that's great, and that's working, that's fine. But you don't have a solid management of files as DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve has a thing called database, and those database tends inside the project manager, which is this little house here. And you have to think about the Vinci Resolve like a big city. So the Vinci Resolve is this big city with ton of houses. All those houses are your clients. And for each of your clients, you can install these houses projects, which are the human being of these houses. So you can just think in that way and you can manage everything from here. You can export those houses, those <laughs> databases to uh, other disk, you can back up everything, you can restore everything, and it's everything, you know, there. Like, you know, Adobe um, do with Bridge, uh, you are doing this just inside the Vinci Soul. So, management is great, you can export project, you can restore project, you can import project, and you can export databases. So, you can just have 100 projects inside there and just export it, and it will be managed in a really better way. Premiere does the th same thing, but in terms of folder, in a really, you know, technical way. And in my opinion, it's not that much, you know, a big change in terms of data, but in terms of managing, management, in terms of pipeline, this, this one, it's really better. And when you start being comfortable with it, it gets really, really great. Then what we got, we got project settings. You can set everything up from the project settings right here from the color management itself. And that's a really big point in DaVinci Resolve because you can decide to work scene refer or display refer. And if you want to start working with different timeline color spaces, if you want to be really accurate in color management and you just have to set everything up for your delivery on a starting point, everything is great. You can also uh, decide to work with it and to manage your color science inside the color grading pipeline itself. This thing is really choppy inside Premiere, we all know that, and let, let's say the truth. If you are uh, doing a color grade inside Premiere, you're using Lumetri. In my opinion, Lumetri is kind of a little toy. You're not you know, really accurate about that. Yes, you can manage everything you can, you know, being there and look at your image and know what you're doing, but being really fast on this, you know what you're gonna do. You're gonna place a regulation level up here, use a conversion lot, let, let me smash an Alexa one, and yeah, even if it's a C200 footage, by the way, well, yeah, let's do it. And you want to make something to yeah, create a really, really good image. You may want to create a little look right here. But you know what? At the end of the day, you're creating a okay thing right here, but you can't manage an image as you will do inside DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci has those things called Node that might, you know, be scary to some of you, but I can tell you guys, it's, it's great using Node. Everything you're seeing this there you m might seem really complicated, but actually it is not because I'm doing a structure, a thing that is working on all my clips. And when you go from one clip to the other, everything stay in the same ballpark and everything work in a really uh, great thing. So 
It might be scary you in the beginning, but it's like, you know, trying, uh, guiding a car and driving a car for the first time and you don't know what to do, but then when you know what to do, everything, you know, goes easier, better than walking. So, in the code part and management part of the project, I will go, you know, 100% on DaVinci Resolve. Everything, it works fast and everything, it's really, you know, easy to understand and easy to use. In terms of management of the program itself, so in Premiere you have basically everything right here in one page. It might be simplified some of the things that you want to do, but in the other hand, you know, it's not that useful in my opinion. It's better to have a proper pipeline when you, where you know where you have all your stuff, uh, where you want to import them, how you want to manage them, and basically everything that you are seeing down here is just a straight pipeline of media management on the proper way, cut or edit to make your editing, and you're seeing it from this exact uh, timeline. You know, it's the exact same thing of being in Premiere just there on the editing room. So the control uh, FX right here that you got for your clips are always there on the inspector on the right side, upper right side. And got your media there, your effects here, and you can customize all those bars just by clicking there, opening or closing them. And everything is really simple and simplified to work on. Again, it's like not knowing how to drive a car, uh, but when you know how to do it, it will be really, really fast. And you got management of color grading if you want to accelerate your you know, editing experience, if you don't have a really fast uh, computer or machine or Mac, whatever you got, got those widgets really fast. In Premiere, this thing, you know, it's managed all there. Yes, you can. Uh, change the way you are seeing everything. And by the way, I've said uh, the program in Italian, so sorry about that. But I'm not using Premiere at all. I just got my uh, my Adobe, you know, license. Uh, but I use just Photoshop. And yeah, everything is kind of there. But you just have to switch things around, and it's not super intuitive as it is inside DaVinci. And with the latest update, by the way, DaVinci had a few things like the cropping or the smarter frame, no, sorry, the smarter frame, the cropping was already there. That will help you if you have to change timeline, if you have to make squared or vertical uh, output. It's really easy and really handy to use. Then you got Fusion, that it's basically After Effects inside um, DaVinci Resolve. Then the color management, uh, what I gotta say, I made <laughs> two masterclasses about this, but what you wanna know is that this page is like a separate program that manages in a really handy and strong way the way you make color grading on your project. This thing, it's not even there in Premiere. You're doing things on regulation level, on the clip itself, with Lumetri and nothing more it's not that good in my opinion it's not good to manage more clips with regulation level it's not good for the output it's not good for uh level that you want to uh watch and you know parameters that you want to know if you want to be accurate on your output so premiere i'm sorry but this thing is a giant no uh there there are hours and hours of thing about this. Again, on my matrix, there are more than 25 hours on both of them, uh, just talking about color grading and management in the Vinci. Then we got Fairlight. In this product will be, you know, like turned off. I just got two masters from our RD department. But what do you want to know that you got actually everything that you got like on Logic Pro or on Cubase or on all those other audio program right there. You can make effects, you can uh, you can add effects, sorry. You can uh, actually, I think, also record stuff, yeah, from there, and mix everything, <laughs> like, you know, being on an external audio program all there. Yeah, you can switch into audio in Premiere, but it's not that handy, yeah, they had those really great sound effect things here that you can drag and drop but 
you can watch it by yourself you know you don't have all the parameters that a professional program have you also have bus outputs if some of you as you know some uh, know how on audio programs these are a big thing when you're mixing when you're managing everything and you know guys just look at this just look at the management that look at how you can actually manage everything and one thing that i love that most of the people actually don't understand 100 percent is that you can't actually customize 100 percent the interface as you can do in premiere but what's the point on this you know i don't want to customize my interface look at this it's also chopping everything down i don't want to customize my interface i just want to open and close you know parts of my program i just want to extend maybe you know a few parts that i want to have in or out but you know what I don't care about you know uh, customizing it 100% because I want to work on a proper you know space made for color, made for audio, made for the editing, etc., etc. And these are things in a really smart way in terms of working. So that's another big point about DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, if you are familiar with audio, got also effects and i'm not talking about fancy effects i'm talking about professional effects that will help you mixing your audio all inside the program and that's a really 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 big thing you don't have all those stuff inside premiere or if you got some of them those are really not well managed about delivery well in this case i might say that i loved i loved i loved media encoder but actually, you know what? Even there, uh, everything is not, you know, feeding my needs. Uh, we got, you know, everything that we might need for the output, so we can monitor car spaces, we, we can monitor bit rates and levels and everything we want here in a good way. But you know what? Those things are already uh, implemented in the product settings, and when you go to the delivery, you got you just have few advanced settings that you want to tweak on or off and everything that you actually do in media encoder multiple outputs are already there so you can uh, do this inside uh, DaVinci you can just add more render queue one after the other and launch or your the renders one after the other so you also got presets for your deliveries, presets for the audio department, presets for uh, streaming deliveries, so YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, whatever you want, you can implement also the fast upload to one of this. <laughs> Come on guys, I, I'm i trying to defend Premiere in a way or another, but you know what, that's the thing. And as, you know, I might say final point, but this video m might go up to one, two, three hours of talking. Well, as a final point, you are paying this program $300 lifetime. I am actually paying the Adobe Suite 600 euros yearly. For all their program, yeah, that's that's true, but these are 600 euros every year. And we are talking about one program, the East of Interest All, that you know, it's used by Company3, by all the greatest company in the world, and by the biggest production houses in the world and premiere that it's my opinion right now it's outdated and you know what guys it's great for you to evolve to a brand new program that you also got the free version by the way that is free to download and you also you know have the official version the studio version for 300 dollar and that's it so I might have done a three, four hours video, but that's a really quick overview on why you should uh, switch, you know? So everything I'm sharing here is not like, don't work with Premiere, don't work with Final Cut, it's just sharing my thoughts and sharing why I'm loving this software. Take your decision, do whatever you wanna do, but again, changes are always scary, but 
you need them to evolve. You need them to evolve your skill set. You need them to evolve everything that you're doing daily to be a better version of yourself. And in my opinion, this software will help you a lot growing up in a professional way and above all, growing a better workflow routine. Thank you for being here. Have a nice shooting, a nice grade, a nice whatever you are doing into your productions. And if you want to follow me on my social media, links are below, free webinars are below. Everything that they got is in that link free. And thanks for being there with me. I'll see you the next time.